Hi, I'm Gregor and I want to help you become better at coding. In this video, I will show you some tips to improve your keyboard utilization. So if you are already very good at it, this video might not be for you. The keyboard is our most important tool because of its relatively high throughput. This throughput not only determines our speed, it also affects the quality of our output. Let me explain. As coders, we are switching between different views and modes. Mostly we are looking at the code from a bird's eye perspective, just reading and thinking. But as soon as we have decided on the changes we want to make, our focus tightens. We are now more concerned which button to click or which menu to open. Using the mouse is terribly slow. It breaks our flow of thought. We are not watching the street anymore. We are looking at the stick shift. Fluent keyboard utilization can help us keep our eyes on the street. It frees our minds and helps us make fewer mistakes. We can not only drive faster, but also safer. Getting better at it is easy. Just lower your expectations. There is no need to get to 0% mouse usage right away. Start small, but start now. The following tips should help you get started. Do yourself a favor and buy a good keyboard of your choice. After all, you're a programmer and this is your most important tool. It will be much easier to get better once you own a keyboard you enjoy working with, one you'll want to use. Maybe a mechanical one, maybe a slim one, whatever suits you. You'll need a powerful editor. It should have support for code navigation, refactoring and other coding related stuff. Could be an IDE, could be a lightweight editor that has a healthy plugin ecosystem. Search for plugins that assist you in learning keystrokes, like the Key Promoter X for IntelliJ. There is also MouseFeed for Eclipse and Key Promoter for NetBeans, which do a similar thing. They will assist you by showing the keystroke you could have pressed whenever you use the mouse. Also, they will count and show you how often you use the mouse for that command. Don't try and learn everything at once. You gotta start small. Choose around four keystrokes or combos you want to learn first and focus only on them while working on the code you are usually working on. You will soon start doing them unconsciously. This is when you are ready for the next ones. Prepare yourself a cheat sheet so you can quickly look up the shortcuts you are working on. Maybe you'll find a nice printout online or create one yourself. There is the CodeCops shortcut search, for example. If it doesn't work out and you keep grabbing the mouse out of habit, just move it to the other side of your keyboard. So when you try and grab it, it won't be there. This is also a good tip if you're advanced and you feel like ditching the mouse anyhow. You can't practice tricks you didn't know existed. Pair and more programming will help you find inspiration. I learned some of the most valuable shortcuts from pairing with others. Also, it might be worth it to study your editor's documentation. Some of the actions I adopted are ones I found there. For example, the search and replace duplicates refactoring. Don't stop there. Some of the actions you frequently use might not even have a keystroke assigned by default. I, for example, like to split my tabs when doing TDD, so I can see my tests on the left and production code on the right. The move tab to the right action, however, did not have a keystroke assigned by default. I had to do it myself. Expect your editor's key map to be imperfect. Think outside the box and adapt the tool according to your need. I hope these tips will help you utilize your keyboard more, so you can keep your eyes on the street and increase both your throughput and quality of output. I'm Gregor, see you next time.